welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another The Flash movie toy video. And thanks to my friends over at Spin Master Toys, well they went ahead and sent over this giant promo box. And I'm assuming it's full of all the cool Flash movie toys that I've seen on the store shelves thus far. I always like these promo boxes. Very well done. Always exciting. I went ahead and cut the tape already, but we'll go ahead and uh, do this properly. So nice Flash lightning bolt on top and then inside the box. Heck yeah! Check that out. It's all their new movie toys. Well, most of them, we'll say. So you get a nice smattering of all their Flash movie toy offerings. And we'll start it off with this one, I guess. The Speed Force Flash. This one has got electronics. It's got a little trimey button on there. A simoi, right? 20 plus phrases. The whole shebang. Very cool looking if you're a little kid, right? These are more for the children. You go ahead and press the center. Yeah, he does a little talking, right? So that's not too shabby at all. On the back side, it shows you you can do the whole action figure posing. Again, good for the kiddos, right? When they see the movie, if they like the movie. Here's the barcode for this guy. Now, there are what I always seem to call nowadays the shampoo bottle figures. These are more in the 10-inch realm, which... Judging by them once in a while when I do see them, they're kind of either, yeah, that's not too bad, or, you know, I think maybe the kiddos may want something else, right? But if you're going to see the Flash, might as well pick up a Flash figure. Also, these tend to be on the cheaper side too, so if they break them, no harm, no foul. You got four characters in this particular lineup, and here's the barcode for these. The Flash is the top barcode. Now, more into my realm, and I've not yet seen these, so this was nice to get, so thank you again, Spin Master. These are their 3.75 inch slash 4 inch single carded figures. So you have the Michael Keaton Batman, which I was trying to find. I'm going to add this to my whole Batman Michael Keaton 89 collection, you get the idea. There are five characters to get in this particular line, which includes Supergirl, Dark Flash. You have the Flash Youngberry version, right? And here's the barcode for old Michael Keaton Batman. Likewise with Barry Allen Flash. So you get a little Speed of Force Fex, get the same packaging, yada yada. Here's the barcode for Barry as well. And these have already started to hit store shelves, but like I said, I've not yet seen them. However, I have seen these. This is a Target Store exclusive. This was the Ben Affleck, Batfleck, along with the Flash, and you get the Ben Affleck motorbike, right? The Bat Cycle. So it is nice as a gift set. You get two figures. And what's nice about Spin Master is that they are on the lower end price point, so this set will run you about $22, which is not too shabby at all. Again, you can go to Target right now. These are starting to hit store shelves. So very excited. We'll open this up and have a good look. See, here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. Going from Target to now Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive. It features the younger version of Barry Allen. You get the Michael Keaton Batman and, of course, the Batmobile. The Batmobile has been the talk of the town for the last couple months, right? Everyone's making Batmobiles, but you get two figures, sans accessories. So these are basically the same ones you'll get in the single card along with the big old Batmobile. So that's always nice to have for kids, especially figure, vehicle. You get the idea. On the backside, you could pose them running away from the Batmobile, right? <laughs> That's not too shabby at all. Here's the barcode as well. Walmart exclusive. This will set you back about $24. And then everywhere, no store exclusive on this one, you have the ultimate Batwing gift set, which has the Flash and Batman. So basically, there's two characters in the movie, Flash and Batman, even though it's kind of leaning to one side on whose movie it uh, really is, right? Wink, wink. This is a very cool set. Again, I have seen this one on store shelves. I have thought about picking it up. So I'm very excited to check it out. Here's the barcode. And again, you can largely pick these up everywhere that Spin Master is selling these toys. Now, keep in mind, not only are there these toys we just got in the box, but there are Amazon exclusives as well. So it kind of swaps out, mixes and matches. You can get the Batwing minus a Batman, which is kind of odd. But it comes with Supergirl, Namek, and you have the Flash as well. If you don't want to get the Batwing set, you can get this five-pack set, which also features the villain Zod, right? Zod, as we've seen in the trailers, 
He's making a comeback. So you get five figures, you get all the accessories. If you're interested, I'll put links for those down in the description below. At Target, they are doing a huge, larger 27-inch Batwing that comes with a larger Batman. Those are more like the Dark Flash and the Flash 10-inch figures. But I have seen a lot of people saying that you can fit the McFarlane 7-inch figure in that and it makes for a nice, eh, I don't want to spend $250 on the McFarlane one. You can get a $40 Batwing, which ain't too shabby at all. So yes, this is a Target exclusive and judging by the photos online, it looks pretty massive. So uh, let me know down in the description if you'd like me to get a hold of this one. I'm actually really interested, so uh, look for this coming soon. Either way, I'm going to do a video on this because I'm very curious. But in the meantime, we got a whole box load of the Flash movie toys by Spin Master to check out. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at some of the brand new toys from the upcoming The, ba the Flash movie by Spin Master. And while I got all you summer moviegoers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Here's everything out, and uh, we'll go ahead and kick it off with the larger figures. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, as a collector myself, these are definitely not my thing. But as far as kids go, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on them. These ain't too shabby at all, and they are larger, so for little kids, they get to do a whole lot more with them. It promotes creativity, it allows them to have some fun, and if they're over it in two seconds, it doesn't hurt the bank account. But I gotta tell you, this is the Dark Flash, and if I was a little kid again, and if I had my choice, I don't know if I'd pick this one. This one, you know, the paint is kind of okay, it's got a splash of paint every which way on the flesh part of the mouth. These things are very hollow. I can't stress enough that they're not ideal. The hands are weird. You even got like a sixth finger right there, even though it's a spike. I get it. Very curious to see how this plays out, right, in the movie. I have my assumptions on who this will probably end up being, whether or not he's a villain, we'll have to see. You do get nice articulation out of him. It's very basic, again, Think of it this way, this is not a collector's line, which is good, this is for the kids, and that's okay. As far as the character selections, though, again, I'm going to pass on Dark Flash, and I would probably go for the Flash. Actually, take that back, I'd probably go for the Batman most of all, everybody wants Batman, but this ain't a bad figure at all, and it has some nice sculpting to it, that's one thing I could say, Dark Flash is kind of wonky, at least this Flash has a little bit better likeness and whatnot. Nothing in the waist. You got the legs. Again, very hollow, right? I think that that's one thing. It doesn't feel like a hefty figure. But again, for the kids, for something to play with, if they want to mimic what they see in the movie, in the car seat, they fall asleep. You know what I mean? It's not much. But at least it's something to, again, have them be a part of the movie. And that's just really cool. And the sculpting is there. And it's enough to say... You know what, kiddo? I'm going for these more higher-end collectibles, and here's what you get to play with, and that's pretty cool. So, moving on to the now 12-inch electronic Speed Force Flash. And this one is always fun because it talks and it lights up and it does all that kind of cool stuff. So, again, if you're not more for the more 10-inch figures, at least this one does something. It lights up, it's got electronics in it, it has basically the same amount of articulation to it. It's still light, still kind of hollow. You get the wrist articulation and whatnot, the head, the arms, you get the idea. This one though, not a bath toy. This one will break, unlike the other ones. But you push the button. I've got the need. The need to go fast. I'm Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. You gotta break the rule, Barry, and you gotta do it now. You were forcing me to combat you. You gotta break the rule, Barry, and you gotta do it now. On the back side, though, this is gonna be for the parents right here. Uh, you got the switch which I highly recommend getting to know, right? You can switch over here, and this activates not only just speaking, but if you shake the thing, it starts reacting and making all kinds of movie noises and sounds and such. So, again, it talks, it articulates, it's got a nice sculpt to it. The back ain't too pretty, I'll tell you that, right? <laughs> 
but it gives kids something to do. You leave them alone for, who knows, 5, 10, an hour, right? They could go to town, play with it. You walk in the room, they're asleep, and hey, everybody wins, right? So that's not too shabby at all. The one thing I will say, though, is that these toys, they could be a little bit better in the paint, right? It's it's bare minimum. It's nice to see that, yes, they are sculpting. Yes, it's something for the kids. And, yes, it's just something for the movie to put out because, as a society, our attention spans aren't what they used to be, and we're just moving on to the next movie the next movie. You know what I mean? That being said, though, this toy can kind of get on the annoying side after a while. Even I was annoyed. So make sure it's off or just remove the batteries, and kids could just play and put the voice in themselves, right? Now, moving on, we have the... Basically, it's 3.75 inch slash 4 inch figures. I'm going to lean more towards the 3.75 inch because lining it up with Star Wars, Power of the Force and all that, they kind of go more with that. So you got the two single figures. Flash comes with some Speed Source effects. Hey, that's not too shabby. And I like that they actually clip on. That's one thing I always point out with the McFarlane stuff. These actually clip on. The Flash himself, not too shabby. If you want a small little figure of 3.75 inch is your scale. It's not bad for a movie figure. You got the gold. You got all the Speed Force lines, Jim Lee lines. On the backside, though, that's where it kind of gets a little stark. I really wish the paint would have continued with all the lines. I see that a lot more now with recent action figures, and I don't like it. The lines are there. Just put the paint in. It would look a whole heck of a lot better. The belts there, the boots are there. That's fine. But it just kind of looks janky. You know what I mean? And a lot of collectors do grab these, even though they're more in the kids' line scale, right? Especially some of the proportions and such. But you get a nice range of articulation. You got the elbows. Nothing in the waist. I feel like they could add that. They do have thigh swivel, which is nice. You got some knee articulation. It swivels. Nothing in the feet. But at least you can attach some speed force effects and put him in the running pose. That's always important when you have character-specific poses, right? The speed force effects clip on just fine. You can put him on his arms. You can put him on his legs. One thing I thought was pretty cool, if you get him in a certain way like this, you can actually keep him aloft. It doesn't look the best, but at least it's something to put on your desk. Kids can fidget with it. It's nice overall, so not a bad-looking Barry Allen Flash. With Batman, you get the gas grapnel gun, at least it's black, right? <laughs> There's no paint on it. It's all just one flat black color. And then you get a Batarang, which, unless that's something from the movie, right, will remains to be seen. That's definitely the Ben Affleck, Zack Snyder Batarang symbol, right? That's for sure. Doesn't really apply to this Michael Keaton. Again, unless it's something from the movie. The Michael Keaton Batman, not too bad. I wouldn't say the likenesses are there for either the figure, but it's enough there to be like, yeah, that's Batman and that's the Flash. Batman is largely just an all-black figure. He has the emblem. He's got the cape. I'm not a huge fan of Spin Master capes. I appreciate that they are cloth, but they're not great. They're kind of janky. And I'm saying that for McFarlane, too. Some of these more mainline toy companies, uh, they need to work on their cape technology, we're just going to say. And the articulation is fine. This one, out of the entire box is my favorite, along with some of the upcoming vehicles, which are uh, pretty darn cool. But you get thigh, you get the knees. It's the same exact articulation as the Flash. But for hearkening back to, let's say, quote-unquote, Kenner days, kind of, sort of, minus the capes, not too shabby. And he holds the accessories just fine, right? That's fine for a basic style 3.75-inch figure. I'm glad that they included accessories. The Batarang, it is kind of awkward for him to hold. You move him around, it's going to fall right out of his hand. Now, I do wish some of these came with more projectile firing to really kind of harken back to Kenner, but you get the cape going, you put him on a rooftop, you fire the grapnel, and you're off. Now, moving into the exclusive realm, we have the Target exclusive three-pack, two figures, and the Bat Cycle. This is going to be the exact same flash as you saw with the single release, now with this two-pack. So, again, same paint, same deal. If you want to hold off, unless you want the accessories, get the gift packs. That's not too shabby. This is really the only way to get the Batfleck Batman, as of right now, is in this two-pack. He's got the grays, kind of the blues, black costume that we see in the trailer, which I think is a little bit more spot on. The cape... Is atrocious. I don't like that cape. I don't even know what it is. The sculpt is there. And yeah, that definitely looks a lot more like Ben Affleck than some of the other companies. Ah, wink, wink. You can get his hands all ready to go because you're going to line him up 
with the bat cycle. So he's got enough articulation, the legs, the thighs, the knees, everything looks good. It's really not a bad look at figure unless you really start looking at the cape. That's where it kind of goes. Yeah. And uh, I would say give him this batarang because yeah, that just fits a whole heck of a lot better. When it comes to the bat cycle, it's really not too bad a bat cycle, although it's very light. And that's something across the board for all the Spin Master vehicles. There's no heft to them. They're very light. The wheels spin. It does the trick. It's got paint. It looks good, and you'll be never the wiser. If you look at it in terms of, man, eh, it doesn't weigh too much, it's what plastic is these days. I mean, that's really how it's kind of going across the board with all the companies. But at least it moves. You can push it around. Kids can have fun. And the best of all... Batman goes on there. Speaking of which, let's uh, go ahead and see how this works. Boom! There you go. Batman on the Bat Cycle. Just like in the trailer, now you just got to have the giant flying fox and have him launch out of there and do whatever he's doing in the movie. Again, I'm looking forward to that movie. The last trailer I just saw really got me hyped again. It was kind of, eh, uh, kind of goes back and forth. I wish the head went up a little bit more for Ben Affleck. Kind of see where you're going, right? Because he's staring straight down. But I like overall that it stays upright. You can push him around. It drives. It does all that good stuff. So everything that a Batman and a Bat Cycle needs to be. So pretty good overall. Now, with the Walmart exclusive, again, two figures. You get the Batmobile. This is the Batman 89 Batmobile, which assuming makes an appearance in the movie, right? Something's under that tarp. You have the young Barry Allen in the Batman Returns suit. You see how they cut the ears off. He spray painted everything. Again, I'm saying all this as if I've seen the movie. I haven't. I'm just making the assumptions as we've all kind of seen in the trailer. So not too bad. This one being one of the better ones for the 3.75 inch line. Again, same exact articulation and whatnot. You don't get any speed force effects, but if you have the singles with the accessories, you can go ahead and clip those on there. They look just fine. But Overall, compared to the McFarlane one, if you've seen my other video, I think this one came out a little bit less goofy looking. You get the same exact Michael Keaton Batman as we've seen across the board thus far. So nothing new here. You can interswap all the accessories if you want. You can put a Batman in this Batmobile, have Batman standing outside it so you don't have to continuously swap them out. Just stick with one. Just get the one you like. And uh, across the board for all these sets and whatnot, yeah, you can pretty much make a complete collection of the characters. The Batmobile, though, it's it's hard to turn this one out. When you see that in the store, you're like, oh, man, that's pretty darn cool. And I think in this size, you get a little bit more paint. You get the wheels that turn. It just looks really cool. Again, hearkening back to the days of Kenner, kind of, sort of. I do wish that this had more functions and features. This will run you about 25 bucks or so in the store. It's very light. It's very hollow. It's very much the kind of feeling of a bath toy. You know what I mean? Which, hey, kids, you could take that in the bath. I used to do that all the time with all my different Kenner stuff as a kid. Inside, it gets very simplistic, which, again, is not a bad thing. These are the kids' versions for these toys, which is totally fine. Not everything has to be collector-friendly all the time. In fact, collectors, you can collect them. It doesn't matter. They don't have to say collectibles, right? Batman, once you get them all situated, the cape is kind of cumbersome getting it in there. He looks great. Although, I will tell you this. While that thing slides and it drives and it does all the good stuff, I do wish Spin Master would have ended up making this a two-seater. I think they missed a couple opportunities to kind of have some kind of functions and features and missile launchers, something like that. Because otherwise, it is cool to put figure in vehicle, but that's really it. And kids these days need a little bit something. Collectors need a little bit something. But you can have Flash run alongside it, and we're off. Now, the Flash, we've seen this guy over and over and over again. It's the same exact figure, and of course, he comes with this massive Batwing, along with Batman. So you get the exact same figures that we've seen before, over and over, again, mixing and matching, it's not a problem, but you're going to end up with a lot of Batmans and Flashes if you get everything. Batman fits right into the Batwing, which is pretty darn cool. For the most part, it is pretty movie accurate, at least for what I can tell and for the effort and time I wanted to put into this. It's the toy, so don't think too much about it. The cockpit canopy does come a little bit too close to the front of the Batwing, I wish it did have, again, missile launchers, electronics, something like that, just to kind of give it some extra oomph. 
but I like the colors to it. It is very light, it's very hollow. But again, it's good for kids to drive around the room and make noises and have some fun with it. God forbid, right? It does have three different landing gears, which you can pull down, push up. Looks very cool. Kind of stark on the bottom. And I, I know this may blow your guys' minds, but the bat wing is in the shape of the bat symbol. I was completely blown away myself. For those of you wondering, yes, Barry Allen Flash can fit any of the figures can fit in any of these vehicles. So just remember that. Now, in terms of size comparisons, again, 3.75 inch for the Spin Master, and then moving up, you've got the seven inch scale for McFarlane toys. Overall, I would say that yes, the McFarlands are gonna definitely be for the collector crowd, the older crowd, the cool kids. The kids are gonna say, oh, I wanna be like my parents and have the cool collectibles, right? But hey, there's nothing wrong with 3.75 inch and it does a trick for all the little hands and little kids that want to play with Batmans and Flashes. Now, when it comes to the Bat Cycle, not much difference here. Again, does pretty much the exact same thing. Extra articulation, a little bit more heft, although not by much. But regardless, if you went McFarlane or Spin Master, you're going to have a lot of fun because that's basically what we see in the film. When it comes to the Batmobiles, a lot of people have said, ah, the McFarlane one is kind of janky. Well, that canopy color is definitely janky, I will tell you that. But regardless of which one you get, they're both toys. These aren't the most high-end collectibles ever. They're on toy store shelves. Not everything has to be collectible. But regardless, if you go more for the McFarlane or the Spin Master one, the chicks are going to dig the cars, right? They always dig the cars. Now, just to kind of show you scalature with other lines. You have the Star Wars Retro line, you have the old Toy Biz Batman, you have the Spin Master, you got Kenner, and then you also have Moose Toys. And I particularly love LeBron as Robin. If you don't have LeBron as Robin in your collection, what is your collection anyways? And just to kind of show you scalature with some of the older Kenner vehicles, these Spin Master figures will indeed fit in them. Some of the things might be a little bit oversized, but to be honest with you, I think he fits rather nicely in there. And you fold down the canopy, bingo bango, you're off to fight Zod or whatever this movie will be. However, I do want to point out one thing. The Batman figure line that Spin Master did was one of the best. I think they absolutely nailed it. This Batmobile is fantastic. It's got dual doors. You could put two figures in there. But best of all, it's got a lot of heft and a push button to activate sounds and lights and everything else. And I really do think that with the Flash movie line, it's just kind of okay. It's not their best, if I'm being honest with you. Their Flash movie line has a lot of great stuff. It does the trick, but I'm going to be honest and say it's kind of the bare minimum. We just wanted to do figures, and here you go. It's not a knock. I'm not overly criticizing, but I, re uh, but I do wish that for these more children's toyetic toys there was a little bit more fun to be had. There's just kind of figures and there's vehicles. Yes, so much fun to put figure into vehicle, but there's no rocket firing, projectile, sounds, anything like that. So it kind of falls flat. Again, yes, they did a great job. They've produced toys for the movie. Kids can go out, watch the movie, buy the toys. But I do feel like it's lacking the oomph that the Batman movie toy line had. In an odd way, it's the fact that I got to the McFarlane stuff first, and now seeing the Spin Master, I'm like, well, now it's just kind of a smaller carbon copy. You know what I mean? So for the next movie, I would like to see a little bit more brought to the table. But overall, if you're a kid, if your parents buying for the kids, you'll find something here that you like. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I really have some high hopes for the new DC Comics Blue Beetle movie. That looks pretty cool. But in the meantime, we got some Flash, we got some Batman, and here's hoping this one rocks. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.